A very warm welcome. This is Shobhya Khlintal inviting you yet another episode on CO TV, A Voice That Matters. Audio jump. There's no force powerful than a woman determined to rise. On that note, we have Kasturi Chalaraja Wilson with us. It's a pleasure having you, Kasturi. I shall be here. Uh, it's a pleasure being with you today. And Kasturi Chalaraja Wilson, the group CEO of Hema's uh, Holdings PLC. Let's start off by talking about Hema's Holding. Can you briefly describe your journey at Hema's? Yes, so. Um, my journey commenced approximately like you know, after years ago. I came as um, my entry was as a finance, a GM finance. I quickly became a finance director in the leisure side of it, right? And of course, over the span of the last uh, 19 plus years, I've um, had six roles, right? And um, except the first role, which I was functionally, technically qualified to be whole because I'm an accountant, but professional, everything else was in. Uh, different functions, different industries, um, and uh, today I sit as a group CEO. Um, and it has been, um, it's a lovely journey for me, um, and for me, Hemas is family. Now, now I've, uh, lived, my kids grew up uh, with Hemas. Uh, when I joined Hemas, my eldest, I was a single mom, and my eldest was only nine, and second was seven. Uh, so you can imagine um, taking up a full-time career at that time. But how I succeeded in that, and I realized when I joined him, as it was that for them, um, families matter. And at that time, because uh, it, it has a, the ancestral, uh, the roots started in 1948, and um, and they decided to set up business here. It was a border family from, from India uh, because they wanted to start in healthcare and they loved Sri Lanka at that time. So, with that, it's the fourth generation now here. and, and for them, it's, for them, they want to give back to Sri Lanka, and today it's a public quarter to the Sri Lankan company. For me, uh, the values of family uh, helped because I never, when I joined, even I always said that my kids came first. Uh, yes, I would discharge my job as best as I could, but my family was very important, and, and that was acknowledged and accepted. So I tried in that value system. Uh, but most importantly, I guess the uniqueness here is the how um, I think he must su- survive in spite of my personality because um, I, I'm kind of straightforward and I, I am very performance driven and um, they allowed me to thrive in it. And the most important thing I guess we see, now I see uh, why it happened is their gender blind in terms of uh, uh, roles, in terms of um, Capability, what's important is a person who has competence in their capability, whether they can sit and hold that role. Um, the role holders, uh, gender or color or race doesn't matter. So, with those kind of cultures, I guess, and this is not talking now, they're talking about 20 years ago when we were not talking so much about diversity at that point. Um, I survived, I, I, I flourished, not that I survived, come to survive, I flourished. Uh, uh, here and uh, that's my journey. So uh, I've been, in short, I've been the technology side of it. I've been the process side. I've run the maritime logistics and aviation side of it. I've run the pharma business. Um, yeah, I've set up their PPO and, and uh, today I uh, sit as a group CEO. So it has been a uh, journey where I've been able to expand my horizons. Um, learn new things which I never thought I could have to learn or never thought I could learn but the opportunity is given and actually I guess the difference is that when you see other people having faith in you to try yeah. something new you kind of uh, you take that leap of faith and in all this journey I, I was allowed to be my mom be the mom I wanted to be and I, it was okay to say that my kids came first so Okay, let us know what's Morrison's important in the group vision. So, uh, to lay a context of what our group uh, vision is, actually the group purpose is uh, to make healthful living happen. Um, and the word healthful has a different connotation. Uh, it, it means um, to touch families and make them feel better in any product or service we, we uh, create or uh, serve. 
And the second aspect is of course uh, making sure the Sri Lankan population is healthier and, and that means preventive as well. And the third which I am really passionate about of the healthful uh, our purpose is that we, we stand for diversity and more inclusive world which means in a simple word eliminate inequality. Um, and why do we have this kind of a purpose? It's because we Sri Lankan families matter. We are a Sri Lankan company and we believe that it's our obligation to be socially responsible and make sure we impact society at large better. In that context, of course, we have a large vision where we, we being a consumer and healthcare company which is innovative uh, and enriches lives of many. We have aspiration for billion dollars by 2030. Where does Morrison play in this? So health is a big part of a country's uh, people's uh, spend as people's uh, you know, life outcomes, right? Uh, Hemas has been the leading importer in health uh, pharmaceuticals, and over the last seven three years, I said we started it was on healthcare. We got the best in terms of pharmaceutical manufacturers who have partnered with us for the last seventy odd years. So during COVID, you saw Pfizer and AstraZeneca both partnered with us, and both have relationships of over thirty five forty. And when we believe at that point, when Sri Lanka also uh, was looking at manufacturing, Bavison, which was the company we acquired, which was a pioneer in pharmaceuticals in 1959, Morrison had been uh, set up here. We believe that we should bring in um, the best in terms of local manufacturing to Sri Lanka. So our vision to be complementing our vision, which is not just doing healthcare, bring, bring the innovation into Sri Lanka. We decided to put it down as a goal. Um, so we took a investment, huge investment to put in the first EU JLP compliant plant in Sri Lanka, which has um, which is um, the largest type of manufacturing. But what we are proud about is, is the fact that um, we are going to bring in uh, global partners to help us to bring in innovative drugs here. And, um, and the quality and the process is very important. It's not like um, just manufacturing a shampoo or whatever. It's here and, and not putting the stem with just a plant. Why EGMP matters is the fact that to get that certification, your process, your technology, your quality has to be at that level. Um, so we have the vision of why, how Morrison fits into it is it's going to bring in that innovation and bring in that healthcare, uh, change the healthcare landscape for Sri Lanka. And we are proud to be part of it and, and it will be the pioneer who is going to bring in that kind of quality to the country in terms of manufacturing. Um, we would be the lead to bring in the partners into Sri Lanka to teach Sri Lanka the new age technology in manufacturing. And um, of course our long term way the vision and their contribution to the group is we are using this uh, plant to export into the region. So they play a big part of our vision. And um, they will play a, play a part in getting these innovative healthcare solutions out. What was contribution goal to the local pharmaceutical industry? Yes, so um, as, I, I, as I mentioned, um, Morrison had, uh, was a pioneer in pharmaceuticals in 1959. They set up the first plant that was in Mutu. And um, they have uh, brands such as, they've been innovative in the brands such as Lactocarmine came from their plant, uh, Valminix, what you see, came from their plant. And um, today, as it as it stands, um, I think the flagship what we are contributing is uh, we are the largest uh, one of the largest suppliers to the government, and we were the first in the first buyback uh, agreement. And today, in in the latest uh, IQR data, we are the largest um, um, supplier of, of a tablet form. So, I guess um, that is contribution. But most importantly, what we are proud of, and I think uh, we as Kema stand behind, is that. Uh, we are bringing in that high edge uh, quality aspect into Sri Lanka, uh, making sure that uh, if we are manufacturing here, it is really good for the patient and we are not going to give you inferior products. Uh, we will go head to head with global manufacturers. Uh, the, the interesting thing is we have brought in a collaborative approach where the global manufacturers are teaching us to be better. And, and that we are proud of and they are willing to do that. We, we signed up, we are the first to sign up with corporate manufacturing in some best in class in the region. And uh, we, what does it mean? It means that um, A, we will be manufacturing a global brand. B is we 
our teams get knowledge fast track. So, I mean, that's the best way to learn. So, we're going to learn, we, we, we have to embrace the latest technology. We'll be taught to use the latest processes and make sure that our quality aspects is looked as in a global landscape. Uh, remember, as I said before, um, um, we want to export and our contribution to the country also our commitment is to try and take Sri Lankan brands um, certain, uh, recognized as global quality and take it out into exports and for that it is stringent regulatory framework so we need to work with partners to do this. And I'm sad, I'm glad to see that uh, partners have come up and signed up with us and and, uh, and our contribution would be telling our Sri Lankan consumer uh, patients that we are giving you a local product which is in equal quality as global standards and um, it's coming from a local plant you'll be proud about. So I guess uh, that honor of changing the landscape, bringing quality to the forefront and investing in, 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 a, in a infrastructure, we spent 3.8 billion rupees. That was the highest investment any pharma plant has done in Sri Lanka. Um, so um, I guess that's a sense of pride and um, yes, now the team has to make it, the returns coming, but um, we are very conscious that we would look at a global uh, exposure as well. In, terms of getting returns into this plant. Tell us, what are your current challenges in this journey? I guess um, the challenges uh, like any industry, consistent, consistency in government policy is a huge challenge. Um, as I said before, if, um, we went into this, we were signed up for buyback and I, I do see that um, that's those uh, agreements seem to be not honored and, and um, the fact that you have policy changes halfway through is uh, is disconcerning it, it, it's um, it's unsettling for most of us uh, but that's a challenge uh, we have to face um, like any other industry so that's the first one second one is to get this mindset and um, saying that local making the quality people to understand what quality means Maybe Sri Lanka doesn't mean feed a quality thing. The process and the, the, the technology and the quality of APIs and ingredients and the output based on that environment means quality. So educating uh, people that um, Sri Lankan drugs, pharmaceuticals manufactured in Sri Lanka can be of equal or better quality is something um, that has to happen. Um, and the third one is um, I guess uh, pharmaceutical manufacturing is new to Sri Lanka, as in manufacturing from a, from a global standard is new to Sri Lanka. Um, our regulatory environment has to up the game, uh, and we as an as industry has to up, up our game in terms of local manufacturing. Um, so that, um, for them, their knowledge and the fact that you get your regulatory rules on time uh, to make sure that um, that we can operate is important because look, every day we raise a lot of money um, and today's context investment is important. I mean, we, we invested a lot and, and the fact that the returns get impacted due to delays of uh, uh, the government machinery is kind of um, something to push through. Whether it's any industry, even your pharmaceutical, any industry, uh, that should, they should be there. I mean, if you're trying to attract the global investing for FBI, that whole machinery has to work. And, the, the healthcare regulatory machine has to be, uh, uh, the quality of it has to be, but the knowledge has to be at par of the global standards. So the, those three would be, I think, were key challenges. Of course, we would have um, labor force challenges as well, like any other uh, industry which is starting. So for us, the, the knowledge we need to impart to our, our Sri Lankan um, young scientists and, and our labor force. So there, are what our um, view is that is, um, we get the partners to come and train our people. We've got the smartest young people. You know, they they're not exposed to global standards. So we are trying to make partnerships where people can come and train them and work along with them and do a lot of job. So we have we that is within our hands to control and, and uh, change. So yeah, these are the four challenges. Kasuri, let us know your inspiring story to the young females in corporate. I think uh, it's a journey. Uh, 
life has challenges. I'm sure all of you all will have different forms and shapes of challenges. But remember one thing: uh, know your worth. Uh, don't give up uh, your authentic self and be true to yourself. Uh, push through barriers. End of the day, you don't have to apologize for being yourself. You don't have to apologize for being a mother or a woman. Uh, you find the right environment which will get the best out of you. And at that point, um, I guess you just have to trust that you can do it and unleash your potential. So go out there and if you want a career, go out there and conquer it. Sorry for being our guest today. It was a pleasure being with you today. Until I see you in another episode on COTV, signing off, be Shobhya Clinton.